Hello and welcome to GPTV on Monday the 12th of December in the last couple of weeks of 2011. My name is Philip Kingston. And I'm Gary Peer. Gary, can you believe we're up to episode 10 of GPTV? Yes, it's flown by Phil and it's been lots of fun and I think it's added some value out there to the community. Well, we've hit double figures, Gary. From where we go from now, I suppose there's triple figures. When will GPTV make it to 100? Been a couple of years, I guess, if it's one a week, Phil. I've worked that out mathematically without you are any aids. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Let's talk about the weekend that was, the last big weekend of auctions for the year, that being the second weekend of December. We've got only a couple this weekend, a couple that have dribbled over, but pretty busy weekend for Gary Peer and Associates with 13 auctions, a pretty busy weekend out there in the general community, Phil. It, it was, Gary. Once again, we led the industry with, uh, I think, close to 85% clearance. We yes. had 13 auctions. We sold 11 out we of 13 did. against an industry clearance of around 55%, which will probably be scaled back to about 53% within the next couple of days. Yeah, we'll take 85% clearance every time and uh, we prefer 100%, which we got the week before, but can't get that every week, uh, but still some very good results. Let's have a look at some of them. Well, first up for me on the weekend, Gary, was unit number eight at 3 Lucan Street, right in the heart of Caulfield North. In fact, about 50 metres walk from our office. Yes. Uh, we have a fabulous building there that's been completely renovated and redeveloped by our developer client. Uh, and unit number eight was the seventh sale out of eight in the building. So we've got yep. one to go, which will be unit number three, which I think we're already scheduling for a February auction. Uh, a pleasing result there, Gary. Smallish crowd. Uh, we did pass the property in and immediately negotiated a sale after the auction. So a great day on Saturday with six auctions, all of them selling, uh, which was terrific. Sunday, Philip, interesting day. It was an interesting day. I kicked off my first auction at number 163 Hotham Street, St Kilda, which uh, when I finally write my real estate book, Gary, <laughs> I think Hotham Street will be a chapter in that book. It was an Probably. extraordinary auction. We yep. had uh, about four people bidding for it. Uh, and uh, when I do write the book, please look out for the chapter 163 Hotham Street. It's going to be a great read. It got sold. Philip under the hammer? You did for $900,000. Okay, terrific. Uh, my Sunday started in Glenira Road, uh, auctioned a unit there that Leo Samuel was working on and uh, also very competitive, three people very keen for that one and that one sold for $552.5 which was within its range. Let's move on to what we promised to be the topic of the week which is the past in auctions. We did have a suggestion uh, from uh, a lady last week asking what about the properties that don't get sold at auction. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, past in auctions, I want to talk about it from a vendor's perspective and also from a buyer's perspective. Firstly, from a vendor's perspective, um, five points I've got here for vendors uh, that pass in their properties. Firstly, point number one is don't give up. Uh, properties do sell after auction. We've had a great week, which we'll talk about as well, in terms of success selling properties that were passed in, some with us and some also that were passed in with other agents. Uh, so don't give up, point number one. Point number two, have a plan with your agent. Um, you'll be looking for some innovation, you'll be looking for lots of energy. I think one of the ways we have been successful when we passed in auctions is we've just kept on going, Philip. We haven't given up and uh, we've certainly created a lot of energy. We've had a plan and that's important. Uh, number three, I'd say look at the marketing. Uh, sometimes if it's passed in and hasn't happened, you need to look at the marketing. I wouldn't stop marketing. You need to look at what you may need to change, whether the uh, copy may be different, the photos, where you place it. Uh, often it is worthwhile to continue marketing. And I guess that's number four, keep advertising. Uh, you need to often keep advertising the property. Some vendors feel disheartened and may not want to, uh, but very often you just need to keep on going through uh, and doing the, the thing that will give you success. Uh, and number five is often you need to look at the price. Sometimes the price that you wanted to achieve at the start is just not there. There have been results in the five weeks since you've been marketing uh, that have affected the buyer's perception of your value and you may need to look at the price and change what it originally was going to be. Uh, from a buyer's point of view, how to perceive or move on a passed in auction. Firstly, I think a lot of buyers think if something's passed in, Philip, then there's got to be something wrong with it. Which is quite to the contrary. Yeah, often the property just hasn't found its buyer in that time frame. Sometimes the four weeks of a campaign is just not long enough. So uh, for buyers that are perhaps dubious or suspicious, I would say don't be. Uh, often the properties that are passed in are still terrific properties. They may not have found the buyer yet and you may just be the one. Uh, so I would say point number two could be a great opportunity uh, for a buyer. So please keep a lookout. In fact, some very astute buyers 
uh, wait for those passed in properties and understand the dynamics that they might have an opportunity. The third point for a buyer with a property that's passed in is it's no longer a moving target. I think it's an advantage. You have an asking price generally, you don't have a range, you don't have the uncertainty of an auction, so you know that perhaps if it's passed in at 900, the reserve's 950, you know what will buy it. And that certainly gives you some clarity around price, which I think for a lot of buyers is very comforting. Gary GPTV, Ideas at Gary P has been a phenomenal success. I must it's say fantastic. we've been overwhelmed with a number of ideas. In fact, I was down at Dan Murphy's last week with a truck picking up all the French champagne. Uh, that yeah. idea of sending out champagne to people with ideas at GPTV has cost us an absolute mm. fortune. Cost you a fortune, it was your idea, Philip. It, it, it comes out of your half but of it, the business. I must say we've had a, yeah. a great deal of pleasure uh, sending, in, sending gifts to those people. Uh, one of the biggest ideas at GPTV that I got during the week, they probably didn't send it to you, is what is Gary Peer going to do about his hairstyle in 2012? You know, that, that's because not true. I've been overwhelmed with no. people saying, is it a toupee? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had that advice from anybody and uh, I think you should take a long hard look at yourself before you give it to me, Philip. But uh, we've had some great ideas, some very positive ones, notwithstanding uh, Philip's view. Uh, there has been, some, well, I did have one about um, Somebody asked, Barry asked whether I get a high chair and you get a low chair, so maybe I'm just taller than you are, but uh, or sitting up a little bit straighter, there's nothing wrong with me, uh, or you. Uh, so the chairs are the same height, but in terms of some of the uh, queries that we've had, ideas, we've had Devorah has asked for advice for those starting out, we'll be looking at that as an op uh, option. Uh, we've had another uh, suggestion from Miriam about virtual tours, a sneak preview of some of the virtual tours of the properties, good idea as well. Uh, Leon has asked about presentation, how to give good tips on presentation. We're going to do a segment on that. I think next year we're going to address as many of these ideas as possible. Absolutely. And, uh, it may just well be that we've got to extend GPTV, Gary, from six minutes to, I don't know, a couple of hours. Maybe we should, Philip. Uh, Simon has asked about upcoming properties. Are there other properties or some previews? And because we've got some good properties coming up, I reckon that's a good segment to do early in the new year, some of the previews of the new properties. Uh, Tanya, who has said, by the way, that both of our hair is fine, uh, <laughs> has said uh, we should review apartment sales, rental returns and also other team members maybe bring them on. We did have Sally Zellman on, uh, so I thought that was a great idea as well. Please keep those ideas coming in to ideas at garypeer.com.au. Thanks for watching again. We look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week. See you next week for our last show for 2011. Thanks for tuning in.